Hello and welcome back to Montana. Um, before we go any further, I'm sure you're thinking, what in the heck is this? But wait until you see it run. This is my idea of a bucket trauma. And we'll get this thing fired up and running. This is strictly a prototype. Um, I'm just trying out my idea. So there's a lot of improvements to be done to this. But anyway, let me tell you what I was thinking. I wanted something that would easily switch out with my automatic uh, sluice box feeder and my wash plant and attach the same way that I had everything else. So this trommel fits right on the same setup that I've been using in all my other videos with the laundry bucket down here. Um, I also wanted something that would process clay. Now we all know if you're running a trommel, most wash plants have a hard time dealing with clay just like trommels do. So I was thinking, what if you could hold all the material in the barrel until you decided it was clean enough for it to come out, instead of having to run your material twice, things like that. So I think this is going to be a real ticket. Um, I could take this out right now and field test it in the woods if I wanted to. So let's get this thing fired up and see how she works. Okay, we are up and running. Uh, I got me a bucket of, or a wheelbarrow full of material, and I always pre soak my material anyway. So here we go. Put the material in. Give it a little more speed. We just sit there and wash it away. So, now here's the cool part. When it's done washing, you figure your rocks are clean enough. And we're back to shoveling dirt. And it just sits there and fumbles and washes. And you, this is thing totally adjustable. You get the material flatter. And if you're not just trying to bust clay, you just sit there and just keep going. Totally adjustable, so you could just add more material as you wanted. As it's dumping the material out. The rocks are coming out. If you didn't need to soak your material all that long, you can simply just sit there and let it run. Speed up the dumping action. Rocks are coming out all nice and clean. Um, like I said, this is a prototype and there's a lot to be done here. So we just took a five gallon bucket and put the screen in there. 
Um, I needed a couple shrouds, so we did that. Uh, my water supply is coming up and around. And then I don't like since I use a recirculating system all the time. I hate spray nozzles. So I just use a volume of water instead. I'm running a 2,000 gallon an hour pump. Um, in the hopper down here in the bucket, there's a skid plate that's forcing all the water to the very back. We're coming down across Gold Hog Max and then down the rest of the sluice. Right now I've got this powered by my cordless drill, so of course it's not going to last for a whole long time. So we need to get a low RPM, high torque motor, 12 volt motor to stick on the back here. Um, I just got four caster wheels for the bucket to sit on. Built me a little frame down in there for everything to sit on. Um, I think this thing's flipping awesome. I love it, and I bet you I can really move some dirt with this thing. Probably more than my wash plant. So we'll finish running some more of these, and I've been putting some pretty hefty rocks in there too. And it's still holding together. Like I said, we might need to pick it back a little bit. So it's totally adjustable on whatever kind of material you're running. rocks in there and tumble as long as you want just to break up that floor and bring them on out okay so that is my idea of a bucket trauma um, I think it works awesome I think it's going to work out great um, I'll probably take it out this next week and at least do some more field testing on it um, dang I'm pretty happy um, let me know what you think in the comments below, please. Um, I'll take the criticism. Tell me what you think of my bucket trommel. I think it's going to work awesome. Um, a lot of improving to do on it, of course, but for a rough draft, just for the idea, I think it's great. Uh, if you want to see the field test, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will catch you next time. Hopefully out trying this thing in the field. Catch you next time. Bye now.